Hello and welcome to the first of many tag SWAT videos. You're watching a video on how to be more efficient using Sage 300 CRE desktop. My name is Seth Myers and I'm one of the Sage certified Timberline consultants at TAG in La Jolla, California. In this video I'm going to highlight three key features of Sage 300 CRE desktop, which include its ability to be a task starter, a source for gathering information, and its ability to be easily customized for your job. But first, let's have a quick intro into the three parts of the desktop. As you can see, it's divided into three main panes. The leftmost pane is called My Tasks. This is the area that you customize for your specific job. And we'll go into more detail about that shortly. The middle pane is just called Tasks. And this shows all of the applications and their setups tasks, inquiries, and reports that you've been given access to through security. The third right pane is called home page. And this is where you can display different internet pages, crystal reports, or you could just have it be blank. Each section can be turned off by clicking the X in the upper right corner of that respective section. For example, if I wanted to close the tasks, all I do is click the X and it disappears. And as you notice, the home page resizes to fit. In the event you turn off a pane and you want it back, it's very easy. You go up to View and then choose that particular task or pane. If you're new to your job, your manager may have set up a default desktop screen for you, which you will know how to modify when this video is finished. In the event your desktop hasn't been customized for your position, you will likely just have a default desktop. Let's pretend that we are creating a new desktop environment. First click on File and then choose New Configuration. You'll notice that Sage supplies a few common defaults and it's based on the different types of industries, commercial, residential, specialty, and then the types of jobs such as AP clerk, controller, or job cost accountant. Pick the one that you want and then you can start making it yours. In this case, I'm just going to choose the Accounts Payable account and then click OK. Depending on which ones you choose, you'll notice that in the My Tasks, it pre-fills things like your tasks, common inquiries, or reports. And we'll go into more discussion about that later. There are a few key things to note about Desktop's Task Pane. The Task Pane generally shows all the applications you have security access to. However, there's a few yellow folders that only appear here in Desktop. The first one is called this Common Tasks. And this includes general tasks such as being able to switch to different company folders, or look at your printouts, or even running the File Tools task, or even File Doctor. Again, only if you've been given permission. The next one is called Additional Tools. This is a spot where you can load different workflow centers or reconciliation tools. Again, specific to the apps you've been given access to. The next one is called Sage Timberline Office Documents. These are all of the PDF documents that are shipped with Timberline Office, whether it be year-end guides, installation guides, crystal guides, or even a guide on how to set up security. The next one is called Sage Timberline Office on the Web, and as you'll notice by the titles to the web pages, they're all specific to Timberline Office. And the last one is called Sage on the Web, which again, as you notice, is specific to just Sage. One of the key features of Desktop is its ability to allow you to start any task, inquiry, or report in Sage 300 CRE, either through the My Tasks or Tasks panes. This allows you to start a task which will lock one application license when you finish that task. And then when you finish, that license lock is removed. This helps your office staff by not having multiple applications locked at any given time, simply because an application has been left open, but not currently being used. As I mentioned earlier, any tasks, inquiries, or reports you have been granted security access to are shown in the Tasks pane. If we expand here, we'll notice that we have Tasks, Setups, Inquiries, and Reports. Underneath Tasks, for example, we have Enter Pending Invoice as the first option. And when we go to Tasks Inside Accounts Payable, it's also Enter Pending Invoices. 
Now that we're familiar with the overall layout of desktop, we can begin customizing this to meet our specific needs. A key feature of desktop is the ability to create what are called groups. The groups are a way to just organize similar tasks or documents or other resources. There's no limits to the number of groups you can set, and if you have groups that you don't use regularly, you can minimize them like you see here underneath the My Inquiries, My Reports, or My Tasks. Anywhere inside this My Tasks, if you right click with your mouse and choose Add New Group, you'll get a window that asks for that particular group's name. I'm just going to call it Common Tasks. Then I'll click OK and that group is now created. You can easily move groups up and down by holding your left mouse button and dragging the item and as you can see it rearranges them. Again I can move it down to the bottom and it's the last one showing. The next step is actually adding the items to our group. There's a couple of different ways but I found that the easiest is to just do drag and drop. So for example if we go to accounts payable and I say I'm going to put the ender pending invoices inside my common tasks. If you hold your left mouse button down and drag it over to the group and let up, you'll see that particular task. You'll notice that as you add tasks or even reports, it shows you the application and then what the name of that thing is that you're doing, whether it be a task, a report, or an inquiry. For example, if we take a report and we choose the invoice aging and we drag that up, You'll notice that it shows the application's accounts payable, the submenu inside is cash management, and the aging invoice aging report is the one that we're adding. Okay, so that's easy. How about adding a web page? We'll right click somewhere inside the group, we'll go to add to my tasks, in box number one we'll select web link, we'll click the select button, let's add Google. Click OK. Box number three, we can give it a title. I'm just going to go ahead and call it Google. And then box number four, if you hadn't chosen the group when you were adding, it will give you the choice to choose it now. I'm just going to choose Common Tasks again. And we'll say OK. As you notice, the website shows up. When you click on it, it opens over on the right side. And all of these tabs can be closed just by clicking the X over on the right side. But what if you have a document that you want to add? Say there's a PDF that you look at on a regular basis. Right click somewhere inside the group, choose Add to My Tasks. We'll choose a file, we'll click Select. We'll find that particular document that we want. In this case, I've got a PDF on the desktop. We select it, say Open. I'm going to go ahead and call it Retainage. And again, leave it in Common Tasks and then just say OK. And as you notice, it has the normal icon. The same logic can be applied if you have a Word document or an Excel document. That brings up another question. What if you have to constantly go into an Excel spreadsheet? Well, you may not necessarily have the same spreadsheet, but you're always going to an Excel. Can you add Excel as a shortcut? Definitely. Again, we'll right click inside the group. We'll choose Add to My Tasks. We'll leave it as file or application because we need to find the executable for that program. Again, we'll hit select. We'll navigate to where that particular program is. In this case, it's Microsoft Office. And I'm going to choose Excel. I'll leave the title and I'll say OK. And as you notice, the icon for the program does show up over here on the left side. And when you click on it, it opens the application. The last type of shortcut that you may want to put in a group is a shortcut to a folder. If you have one particular folder where you have a lot of documents being stored on a regular basis and updated, you probably don't want to go through the My Computer icon or Windows Explorer. Why not just create a shortcut here? First, minimize your desktop. Go to the folder that you normally would go to. and In this case, I'm just going to create a shortcut based off this software one. When you create a shortcut, you right click on the folder that you want. And in my case, I'm just going to send it to the desktop. And I have a shortcut. I'll close this. 
I'll go back to my desktop and again I'll right click inside my group I'll choose add to my tasks click the select button navigate to the desktop where that shortcut is choose my shortcut click open I'm gonna leave the title there and then say OK as you notice there's a little folder icon here for my shortcut and when I click on it it opens the folder now there's one caveat that you have to remember when you create a shortcut if you accidentally delete that shortcut your link over on the my tasks will, will not work and you'll get an error message for example if I delete this shortcut I go back to desktop and I try and click on it this message pops up saying that it's not found in that case, I would suggest removing it from your tasks. You can always add shortcuts back later. So we've talked about the customizing of the My Tasks section based on your particular job and what you do in your job. The next part of the video covers the home page in our desktop application. You probably noticed when we created this new desktop, the Sage CRE website is what came up as the default web page. So some of you may be asking, is this actually the internet? and it is. You could type in google.com up here and it will go to the Google website. Why is this important? Well, if you think about how often you search the internet, or you might have maybe a bank site that you go to when you're reconciling your bank accounts, or those web pages can be added as your default web page to this desktop so that every time you start desktop, that website shows up. One thing to remember is some websites do have various levels of security or maybe visual aids like pop-ups and those don't show in desktop so some pages you won't be able to add so let's change our sage CRE website to google.com it's actually pretty easy if we go up to tools and we choose options on the bottom side here it says current home page we're going to choose the select button we'll leave it as web link and say ok and I'm just going to go ahead and type in google.com we'll say ok and ok one more time now every time I open desktop Google will be what I see here I'm a controller and I want to see all the information for all of my jobs I don't want to have to run a report Timberline allows you to put in a crystal report again we'll go up to tools we'll choose options we'll choose select and this time we'll change it to be crystal report and then we'll say OK if we go into the commercial construction we'll see that these are based on different job tasks like an AP person or a job cost person or even a project manager in this case I'm gonna go ahead and just choose executive all jobs overview and then say open and then we'll click OK and our home page will refresh as you notice it's not instant it's trying to do all the calculations and generating graphs like you would normally have in a crystal report so you might notice as you play with some of the different crystal reports that some of them are a little slower than others there isn't an autosave in desktop so every time you make a change no matter how small it may seem to you you'll want to go ahead and save simply click on file save configuration as and then give it a name so in this case I'm just gonna call it template one and then say save and you're done. The next time you open desktop, this is what you'll see. All of your tasks underneath the My Tasks. And in this particular case, a crystal report will open up entitled All Jobs Overview. As you can see, Sage 300 CRE Desktop has a lot of flexibility as well as the ability to make your job easier and more efficient through shortcuts and on-demand reports all centrally located. You can keep desktop open all day and even surf the web without tying up any Timberline licenses. You will find many of your coworkers will be much happier with you now that they can get into the applications more often since licenses won't be tied up simply because somebody left an application open. I hope this video has been informative and helpful to you. Check out our other training videos as we create them in the next few months. If you have any ideas or questions that you would like to pose, please don't hesitate to contact us via email at timberline at teamtag.net. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.